Boris Johnson must act quickly before von der Leyen dismembers the United Kingdom before our very eyes. The news that pharmaceutical firms will soon stop shipping 2,000 different types of medicine to Northern Ireland is another reason to scrap the Northern Ireland Protocol, according to a former Brexit Party MEP. And Ben Habib has fears if Brexit Minister Lord David Frost does suspend the controversial arrangements soon, he risks the breakup of the UK becoming unstoppable with the EU using the situation to supplant the UK as the region's main trading partner. Mr. Habib is a fierce critic of the mechanism which binds Northern Ireland to many EU rules and regulations. Intended to prevent a hard border on the island of Ireland, critics, including many in the unionist community, argue it has instead resulted in a border down the Irish Sea. Most medicines come from Great Britain, but the transportation process has been vastly more complex since the start of the year because Northern Ireland remains within the bloc's pharmaceutical regulatory system. Mr. Habib told, When the grace periods end, many more will be disrupted. The warning from the British Generic Manufacturers Association is the latest in a long list. On Wednesday, Lord Frost published his command paper in which he urged the bloc to negotiate the protocol, but ruled out suspending it, at least for the moment, using a device known as Article 16. He said, This inaction, apart from exacerbating the plight of Northern Ireland, is playing into the hands of the EU. It is moving fast to replace the supply of goods, which traditionally would have come from Great Britain, with goods from Ireland and the EU. It wishes to turn Northern Ireland away from the UK, towards Ireland, and accelerate the unification of the island through the back door. Mr. Habib warned, It is dismembering the UK in front of our very eyes. At every level, Article 16 should now be invoked, but Lord Frost is not doing it. His reluctance is aiding and abetting the EU in its aim to break our country. Unless he changes his position very soon, people will, in time, look back at this moment as being when the breakup of the United Kingdom became unstoppable. Letting British goods be inspected by the EU on UK territory shows weakness and incompetence. If Johnson doesn't stop him, he should be fired and replaced with someone who is qualified to do so.